Hi, it's Whitney Cow, and I'm super excited to come to you live with Love Cards. This is one of my favorite books. You know, I have been studying tarot card reading and learning about numerology for years, and I came across this book, and all you have to do is find your birthday in the front, and it teaches you all about who you are, depending on which card you are in the deck of traditional playing cards. And the Wheeler Dealer card is the one I'm gonna to read today. This is the Two of Diamonds. The Two of Diamonds has an innate intuition that if followed will always lead them to success and show them the right path to follow. Inherent in this intuition is a high set of values and often a mission in life that always involves partners and others. There's a certain amount of ambition, usually for money, that keeps them motivated. The ambition is good because they can get into ruts at times, especially in their closest relationships. If they tap into their inner guidance, they will find a path awaiting them. That is fascinating and rewarding. They do best by establishing themselves in one business and sticking with it. This is one of the most successful cards in the deck and they have only themselves to blame if they are not happy and productive. We all love that. They are called the Wheeler Dealer card because they love to be involved in business and finance, especially with their friends and associates. This is a partnership card which usually chooses to work with others rather than alone. Two is the number of logic and two of diamonds have a mind that is quick at making distinctions and evaluations. They are often attracted to and good at working with computers for the same reason. It is only the two, it is only when the two of diamonds is emotionally unfulfilled that their capable mind becomes pessimistic and argumentative. Financially, this is one of the most fortunate cards in the deck. Most of them make considerable sums of money, especially after the age of 35. They have a lot to be grateful for. Sounds like it. They should be careful that their social obligations do not tax their health and well-being. Sometimes they get so caught up in their work that they forget to take care of themselves. They can make large sums of money in real estate, especially in their later years, and maintain good health throughout their lives. This is one of the cards that is likely to live to the age of 100. Congratulations. These people love to mix and mingle and arrange deals with others. For some two of diamonds, their life holds a special purpose, a mission that involves bringing higher knowledge of some kind to the world and those they love. These people are the messengers of light. Romantically, the two of diamonds has strong and fixed attitudes, ideas and principles about love that are admirable on one hand. On the other hand, they are, the, they're, they are their greatest hurdle to their romantic and emotional happiness. Many of them must learn that love and marriage are more than their fixed ideas about them. Once they are in a relationship, whether good or bad, they are usually stuck by these fixed principles. This can cause them to linger where happiness is not. When this happens, they become bitter and inclined to negativity, manifesting the argumentative side of this card. So basically, from my perspective, that comes to watching and focusing on positive things and staying focused on gratitude. A male two of diamonds in a marriage that is over emotional will often have affairs, even multiple affairs, but will shun divorce at all costs. People should stay married forever is a belief that all of them should examine for its validity before entering into marriage. The Ace of Hearts Pluto card indicates a strong but often hidden need for affection which can go unnoticed or unacknowledged because they, go, they get so involved in the mental side of life in their work or business. The inner need for affection and self-respect at the heart of most of their relationship issues and problems. The Two of Diamonds is usually a very intellectual person. This powerful mind, which serves them so well in their careers, can be a stumbling block to success in personal relationships because it inhibits their abilities to feel. With work, this inhibition can be overcome and they can learn to communicate the intimate feelings that are necessary for a healthy relationship. 
Two of diamond females can make a good marriage to a spade male. Two of diamonds men may do better with women from the heart suit. Both sexes have many diamond women friends. So I really love helping people get clear on who they are. I'm curious what you think of this reading. If you are two of diamonds, you'll see your birthday down below in the comments. And I would be interested to hear how accurate this is for you. Uh, from my perspective, if you've been working on yourself, growing and learning and expanding your awareness, the negative side of this card will um, not be as prominent as the positive. So I'm glad I was able to bring this to you. Happy birthday. And um, if you'd like to know more about what your other cards are, you're welcome to private message me or pick up this book. It's fantastic. So there's different dates of birthdays, January 25th, February 23rd, March 25th, 21st, April 19th, May 17th, June 15th, July 13th, August 11th, September 9th, October 7th, November 5th, and December 3rd. And depending on when your birthday is, we'll tell you what your planetary ruling card is. And then we could do another reading for that one, or you can just go and look, like I said, in the comments below and take a look at what your planetary ruling card is. Thanks so much for dropping in.